Well, hello there. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X 3D. And you know, my colleagues, Martin Graney and Neville Thompson, have found compelling evidence of plant life on Mars. Of course, the great Joseph Skipper was showing us forests and lakes from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter years ago. But it's always fun to find new stuff. Let's take a look at Nev's shrubbery that's fresh off the press. At first, I thought these might just be cracks in the surface rock, except for two things. As I began analyzing the planes, the lighting, and the shadows during the 3D process, it seemed apparent to me that this was a freestanding object. Now, of course, I could be wrong, and if I am, Nev owes me a steak dinner. The second and certainly more convincing thing than the latter is that you'll see another find right after this one that has virtually identical plant life but in great abundance. Rather than making up your mind one way or the other, let's move on to the next one so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said, both Neville Thompson and Martine Graney have posted compelling images of what might actually be plant life on Mars. We just had a look at Nev's shrubbery, so now we're into veggie spires. A user named Sancot first pointed this out. Those spires are a long way away, so let's get closer. Those weird spires are like something you'd find in Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park in Utah. If you look closely at the boxed area, you can see some faint fuzz coming off those two spires. Now take a look at this. Whatever that spindly, fuzzy stuff is, it's all over these spires. And in fact, it continues down slope as you can see it silhouetted against the sky. It kind of reminds me of the Ocotillo cactus when I lived in the desert. It's all branch with almost no leaves to speak of. And of course, this is what you would expect to find in the arid desert of Mars. And what about that ram's horn on top of the peak on the right? Let's go to hyperzoom. This looks almost like the twisted trunk of a bristlecone pine, one of the longest living and hardiest plants on Earth. Just look at all the vines everywhere. We've been saying for years that life in all its varieties is present on Mars. And you know what? NASA is finally getting ready to fess up about that life. Of course, they'll start with microbes, more than likely. I mean, no sense in admitting anything about the plant, insect, animal, and humanoid life just yet. Now, this is a strange one. It's one that stays hidden in the context view and is only visible when you get right down to the nitty gritty. Take a look at this. Four evenly spaced rectangular lights in the shadow of that overhanging rock. They look like windows, don't they? As if a small craft of some kind was tucked away in a safe place. Or maybe they're reflections. But think about that for a moment. The angle of the sunlight is right. But what would reflect the sunlight that brightly and that evenly? Gold tinted windows or maybe polished gold? This one's a puzzler. And before we leave, look at the large curved stone just in back of it. That looks like a badly eroded pillar to me, but it could also be just a rock. Let's move on. Let's wrap things up with this one that requires a close look before it becomes visible. There are any number of suspicious looking rocks in this view, but let's focus on the target area for now. Moving in tighter, it's still a bit hard to see clearly, but that standing rectangular rock is covered with symmetrical cross hatching. My colleague Joe White over at Art Alien TV has suggested that this might be rebar in cement, which could be entirely likely given the many examples of rebar we find on the Martian surface. Let's move in closer. In this view, I've knocked back the contrast a bit to bring out the detail. Occasionally, we'll get photographic artifacts that look like this in the various low-res JPEGs NASA gives us. 
But this is a PDS, and it's straight out of the analyst's notebook, carefully rendered by Neville Thompson. What are we to make of this? That pattern sure looks even and purposeful, doesn't it? Whether it's rebar, as Joe White suggests, or something else, it's clear that this didn't occur naturally. Hey, thanks for stopping by and having a look today. There is a whole lot more to come. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing. And in the meantime, this is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D. Be well.